Yeah, this is our camper van. We call her Trooper. It was a van for the Port uh, Portland Transit, and because of the high mileage, we figured it's a real trooper. Anyway, we're in the process of converting it. Uh, we only got it in August and we're still doing a little shakedown uh, trips to, to see what we need, what we don't need. Anyway, a quick tour. Uh, in the back, we just have two beds, of course, storage underneath. Uh, the, the seats, or the camper, or the bus seats, we just flip them around. And table came out of a restaurant we had, and using it until either we decide something else is needed or, but it's working out fine. And these are food carriers also from a restaurant we had uh, and we're using them as storage either dry storage cold storage even warm storage so they're insulated and they're, they're working out well anyway this is all about uh, this heater that we bought it's that uh, five kilowatt heater diesel heater and it, you know we, we've looked at it on uh, other YouTube channels and thought it looked pretty good so we bought it and the only thing we're uh, a little curious about is whether or not we could retrieve some of the exhaust heat that generally is just exhausted outside uh, so what I've done is ex sent the exhaust uh, from the heater into a, a cheap muffler that I modified for the uh, as a heat exchanger and now I'm running some tests. I wanted to see exactly how much heat I could recover from the exhaust gas and uh, help with the overall efficiency of the heater. So what I've done is uh, at full blast, I had it, it's been running almost all day. And at full blast, uh, full power, uh, the the heat coming directly out of the port, the temperature, the exhaust port. Let me go around. The exhaust port was 800, about 820. And by the time it gets down to here, it's around 480. And then when it exits out underneath right there it's about 200 so that's at full power at half power the uh, the heat let me just get to my notes here <clears throat> right out of the exhaust uh, was came down to 750 then right before it goes into the muffler at 320 and then exiting to the outside was 190 so now it's at one quarter power and I have to make measurements uh, as soon as it uh, runs a while to to stabilize all the temperatures Right, I finished taking measurements 
and I can now sort of recap what what I found. It's a miserable day out here today. 30, about 38 degrees, 30, well actually 33 last time I checked, and snowing. Uh, but it's pretty comfortable in here, about 60 in here, so uh, we're certainly happy with the uh, comfort level that this produces. Uh, it isn't, the, the bus isn't insulated, there is a little bit of something in the ceiling but uh, nothing in the walls and of course the glass area uh, is really lets the heat escape so uh, we needed something uh, that was dry heat and <clears throat> capable of uh, heating a a bus that's about, let me see, what is the, it's about 912 cubic feet or 152 square feet. Alright, so the way it turns out is there's a lot of wasted heat that uh, is exhausted outside and at full throttle full power, the heat that goes outside uh, is about 840 degrees, <coughs> and at half throttle it's still about 750 degrees, and at a quarter throttle it's 650 degrees, and this is Fahrenheit, that's exhausted directly outside. But by sending it through a little extra mass, which is in the form of a cheap muffler that I got at Tractor Supply, the heat that is exhausted out in terms of temperature, at full throttle it's only 338, it's almost 500 degrees cooler uh, than if it was exhausted directly to the outside without going through a heat exchanger of some sort. And that amount where the heat, where the temperature drops down to about 120 degrees when it's at a quarter throttle. So the, the greatest efficiency of this heater is at the lowest setting uh, that can be managed to, or the lowest setting that would be sufficient to keep it comfortable in here. And for us, uh, at quarter throttle or quarter power, the uh, interior comfort level is is reasonable. It's, between 55 and 60. And what is definitely noticeable is uh, I have all the ducting pointing towards the, the cabin, the living area of the uh, camper van, and the cab area is heated strictly by the convection heat obtained by the, the heat exchanger. So it's comfortable in here. Uh, this shows about, it's hard to read, but it's about 54 and it's it's not quite accurate because it's picking up or right up against a, a cold surface. So it's very comfortable at quarter hour. Uh, the whole system, which powers the, the blower and the glow plug, is uh, the Blue Eddy battery pack. I have 
have another one coming and I'll do a little more uh, investigation on this, but I'm running this now to see how long it'll power the whole system. In addition to an electric blanket. Uh, and this is at full power. And just another another source of warmth uh, to make things a little nicer uh, in weather such as this. Anyway, um, that's wrapping this test up. Uh, I'll be doing the, the battery test or the power supply test uh, once the other units received and uh, and then as we go through and address some of our needs and wants as far as a camper van uh, we'll be putting those up as well uh, I do a little woodworking so a lot of a lot of what you'll see is is also uh, gives you an indication of some of the stuff I can do uh, as far as equipping a camper van. Uh, this table was, uh, let's see, was just a bunch of scrap wood that <coughs> I, used, I put together to uh, make a little steady dining table. Anyway, all for later.